Well, all day we've been sharing stories of animals that have been helped by the Humane Society. And here's ABC 7's Paul Sikala with Milo, who is celebrating a very special day. Happy birthday to you. It's a birthday fiesta to remember for little Milo. People around the young Shih Tzu aren't necessarily celebrating the day he was born, but the day he was rescued. I never would have thought that I was the person who was going to buy a cake and make it for my dog. But why not? This birthday celebration is actually the one year anniversary of the day Leah Lopez adopted Milo from a local shelter. I mean, if you want to get a pet, why not adopt a pet instead? I mean, you're saving an animal. Some of them could possibly be euthanized. If you feel like you're going to provide a loving home for an animal, why not take one in that has probably been through a lot and who needs a loving home? and needs a loving family. Milo's one-year adoption celebration included singing, Happy birthday. a special gathering with other dogs on hand, and even a cake. Heck, the rescued canine also got a bit pampered this special day by Scrub-A-Dub in a mobile tub, much like a mobile spa for canines. A package where we can wash your dog, cut the hair, groom him, and they get a full-service spa, and they just love it. It's it's stress-free for the pets because uh, they don't have to go to the grooming salon. Hey, Milo definitely deserves it. <laughs> Betty Hoover, director of the Humane Society of El Paso, says many animals in shelters have had stressful, troubled pasts. You know, we never know what the background is on the dogs that come into the Humane Society. Some come from good situations, some from not very good situations. And it's not uncommon for dogs like little Milo here to have been abused before they were adopted. As a matter of fact, many come to the shelter with past trauma, if you will. And it's suspected that even little Milo had his problems with previous owners. As a matter of fact, he suffered a recent injury and many feel that perhaps that injury was aggravated from an owner that perhaps abused little Milito. But now he is A-OK. -okay. Milo had three degenerative discs, which may have been caused by abuse and resulted in a recent broken back. They told me that it was basically inevitable that he was going to break his back, that it was going to happen eventually. So now Lopez is careful when she takes him on walks. Also, he still goes through therapy, swimming at this Isleta area pool as his back healed. I recently had the tremendous satisfaction to personally swim alongside of Milo while he went through the rehab. I mean, it means the world to me to know that there's this little creature that I'm very much in love with, and he loves me back. So Lopez knows providing this adopted dog a happy life is a must. And now I can't even imagine my life without Milo. And we are sure neither can he. Who else is going to organize another birthday party for Milo in 2013? Or seeing the adopted dog, happy birthday once again. Milo has really changed my life a lot. Reporting from East El Paso, Paul Sicala, ABC7. Yeah. All right, we are back here in the ABC7 studios with my little furry friend. <laughs> We've become long, long life friends from now on, aren't we? Yes, yes, we are. Oh, yes, we are. You're so cute. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, and we're also here with David, with the sheriff's office, David. Why aren't you on the phone? I'm waiting for people to call. So come on, call David, get him busy. He's here volunteering.